Johnny Cash was a renowned American singer who died 19 years ago today at the age of 71 from complications with his diabetes, although some speculated it was actually from a broken heart. The singer had just lost his wife, June Carter Cash, and, combined, the couple had an estimated net worth of $80 million, 68 million pounds. The singer had just lost his wife, June Carter Cash, and, combined, the couple had an estimated net worth of $80 million, 68 million pounds. Johnny was one of the best-selling musicians of his era and worth $60 million, 51 million pounds, at the time of his death, according to Celebrity Net Worth, June who was Johnny's second wife, was also an acclaimed singer and the couple released an array of successful duets together in their 35 years of marriage. The couple both had children from previous marriages, with Johnny fathering four daughters with his first wife Vivian Liberto. The man in black singer was June's third husband and had two daughters when she met Johnny one from each of her previous marriages. In 1970, they had their only child together, John Carter Cash, two years after their remarkable engagement and marriage. Johnny had reportedly asked June to marry him 30 times before she eventually said yes, this time on stage in front of a crowd of thousands in Ontario. The duo became an instant power couple within the country music scene, until 2003 when in early May, June died from complications during heart surgery. Johnny continued to work after June's death, in the cabin recording studio he had built. Johnny died just four months later on September 12, and his son recalled his mother's death being the most difficult thing his father had endured. The Hurt singer reportedly left almost all of his estate to his son John, as well as publishing rights from his iconic song Ring of Fire. Johnny's four daughters, on the other hand, reportedly received $1 million, £850,000, each. In an interview with The Guardian in 2013, John said he still felt his father's presence in the cabin studio, adding he is watching over all the music being recorded. Johnny's fortune was all hard-earned by the singer, as he was born into a working-class family who had all struggled during the Great Depression. He began his career with small stints singing on the local radio whilst in high school, but before becoming a world-famous musician he spent some years in the army. Don't miss, Johnny enlisted in the United States Air Force and worked in West Germany as a Morse code operator. Throughout his three years of service Johnny maintained a long-distance relationship with Vivian, whom he had met shortly before leaving for Germany, and married her one month after he returned to the United States. Originally, Johnny started working as a radio announcer in Tennessee before releasing his first lot of singles in 1955. A year later, Johnny released I Walk the Line, which became a chart topper and was followed by a string of hits like Folsom Prison Blues. On the other hand, June had been practically born into country music as her mother, Maybelle Carter, was one of the original members of the Carter family. The Carter family was originally a trio, composed of Maybelle, her sister Sarah and her brother-in-law A. P. Carter in 1927. By 1939, the musician's children had joined the group, including June who was just 10 years old at the time. A decade later, June was performing as part of Mother Maybelle and the Carter Sisters, and in 1956 the group performed at the Grand Ole Opry Festival which is where the singer first met Johnny. Johnny was reportedly starstruck as he had grown up listening to the Carter family, but the two were still married to their other partners. 
June became a regular backup singer and duet partner for Johnny's tours throughout the 50s and 60s when the pair found romance blossoming as they were both freshly divorced by 1967.